Hey guys, Nick from Toad Hall here. This week it's a little different. We're gonna do the new vinyl roundup in two stages. This is my first stage. Second stage is coming up directly after this. It's connected to this video. Reason being is I did the second part of this video and then all this stuff came in. It just is what it is. New vinyl shows up here almost on a daily basis. So the only way that I could put it all together is do it in two pieces and combine them into one video. So. We're gonna go through these. These are mostly new releases for this week. This one's a restock. Duke Ellington, Johnny Hodges, side by side. $56, Analog Productions. Got some more of these back in. We're gonna kind of blow through some of these as we've had this before. Horse Silver Songs from my father. It's the Blue Note Classic. Uh, $26, got a couple of these in. All right, now we're into some new stuff. How about the brand new Melvin's record? That's right, this is on silver vinyl as well. Um, got a few of these, and if you've been waiting for it, $24. Price is right on it as well. There's a couple other Melvins in here. We'll get to those. The National, Sad Songs for the Dirty Lovers. Uh, just got this back in stock. Actually, is this, this must be a new one because we haven't had this before. $24. Just got that in stock. Uh, start your, or the uh, Rhino Day, Rhino, uh, the Black History Month release. This is a new one. Best of Ray Charles, The Atlantic Years. Limited edition white vinyl, $33. Just got that in on stock. Just turn my ringer off here. The National, there's another new National here, $24. This is just, is this just self, no, it's called, yeah, it's just self-titled. The National with them looking there on the pool. Got a bunch of those in. The National Cherry Tree. $19, seven song, uh, November 17th, 2003, Studio 105, sound engineer, engineer. So just got those in stock. Haven't ever had this title before. Florida Georgia Line, Life Rolls On, 2LP, Long Live and I Love My Country, $26. This LP here. The Gorillas, The Fall, single LP, $21. I had these in last week, just got a bunch more back. All right, Lil Kim, Notorious. This was another uh, Black History Month release. $33, two OP set. Just getting these back in stock. This is a restock from last week, Cinderella Night Songs, Music on Vinyl, $29. Killing Joke, Black and Clear by Colored Vinyl, $41. That is really cool. I love that when they do the splatter vinyl like that. All right, finally, some newer stuff again. Head in the Heart, Living Mirage. It's got, it's the, obviously it shows up really well on the camera. 2LP Deluxe Vinyl on Baby Pink Vinyl featuring Honey Bee, plus four bonus songs, including Glory of Music 2. Oh man, I love that packaging. $46, so it's not the cheapest record in the world, but it is the Deluxe. A couple more Fleetwood Macs. This is Fleetwood Mac self-titled, or it's the uh, Pious Bird and God Omen. Got that in, $23. Alice Cooper's got a new one, Detroit Stories. New studio album, made in Detroit in 2021. Strictly limited, red double vinyl. $27, it's got Alice right there on the cover, on the back, looking good. Anthrax, is this volume eight, The Threat Is Real? $31, two LP set. I love the art there. That's almost like comic book movie art or something there. I love that. 31 bucks. Here's the other Melvins. Hostile M Ambient Takeover. Buy it now, don't miss. Brand new reissue LP recording. $26, obviously these are older ones that they re just re-released. But we finally can get them. Another Fleetwood Mac title. Mr. Wonderful, which I don't think I've ever had this in the store. $23, uh, it is a gatefold. Um, that's all I know on that. Black Crows, 30th anniversary of Shake Your Money Maker. I can't believe it's 30. Original production tapes, remastered from the original production tapes. $23, price is incredible on that. Those will sell right out. Van Halen, Fair Warning, single LP, 26. I know we've been struggling to keep the Van Halens in since his, since his death. We finally got some back in. Gorillas Demon Days, 2 LP picture record. Uh, I showed this 
earlier. Great record. All right, Neil Young and Crazy Horse, way down in the rest bucket. And in part two, we have another Neil Young. This one's 19 tracks, three blistering sets on four LPs. First live performances of Ragged Glory songs from the Neil Young archives. $71, which isn't bad because it is a box. Four LP box. Huh. Yeah. Pricing is beginning, getting much better. And we're going to finish off with the Deftones, White Pony and Black Stallion, which is the 2020 remixes of White Pony. So this is the deluxe box. has two double LPs, 24-page book, two CDs, lithograph, and this hard cover packaging. $130, and they are also, this is number 1730. They're also numbered. So obviously these are quite limited. 20 year anniversary of Deftones, which is an album that truly deserves this treatment. And that's all we got for uh, this stage of it. Stay tuned for part two coming up right now. It's Nick here from Toad Hall Books and Records, and it's time for another new vinyl roundup here every Saturday on Toad Hall, talking about all the new stuff every week, restock, new releases, you name it, we have it all here in shop. So we're gonna start, like I do every week, with the newest stuff coming out. David Coverdale's White Snake Limited Edition, first time on vinyl since 1977. Pressed on Coke bottle colored vinyl. I think this is so sweet. $26, it is says it's remastered. Lady, Blind Man, Goldie's Place, White Snake, Time is on my side, Peace, Love and Man, Sunny Days, Hole in the Sky, and Celebration. So. I love these releases like when you get the stuff that like I've never seen an original of. That's always my favorite. Next up, we have the Hold Steady Open Door Policy. This is the eighth studio LP from the Hold Steady. ODP Open Door Policy, $21. Not expensive at all. It's got a dry cleaner and looks like a reflection or in a mirror or something because you've got some street view too going on. So. All right, guys, this is your reminder to vote for Rock and Roll Hall of Fame because Devo are nominees this year. That's right. Among many other bands, Devo is trying to get into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You can vote once a day over at rockandrollhalloffame.com. Uh, but this right here is Hardcore Devo Live. So they have released Hardcore Devo, but never the live version. Transparent red and opaque vinyl. $36. They got Boogie Boy right there on the back. Very cool. $36. This is uh, performing early experimental tracks written between 74 and 77 prior to any label deal or public access. No matter how messy, beginnings are exciting, especially when what happens next endures the test of time. For Devo, the beginning happened in the basement and garages of Akron, Ohio. Another great Midwestern state. All right. Emmy Lou Harris. Red Dirt Girl, limited edition, red vinyl. $31, two OP set on none such. A fantastic label if you were into off the wall classical, world music, uh, and then kind of the more contemporary artists like Emmy Lou, Black Keys, that kind of stuff. All right, when I ordered this, guys, I didn't know it was a picture record. Shows what I know. So this is a two LP, Demon Days, picture vinyl oh it's sealed but obviously they got the four heads um this is a gatefold it's stickered i can't open it up but um it's got the other two i'm sure classic album definitely their strongest so demon days is available on picture record for the first time venom the picture vinyl record version the seventh date of hell live at hammersmith um odeon 84 it's got them looking crazy in the front, looking crazy in the back. Those shows must have been wild back in the day. $37. Here's their other picture record, Venom, Calm Before the Storm. Same price, $37. Single LP, picture record. This one's not as cool as the other one, at least visually, I have to say. All right, Ty Siegel, 10-inch. This is with Corey Hansen at Drag City, $19. It's two songs. She's a Beam and Milk Bird Flyer. Written, recorded, and mixed by Ty Siegel and Corey Hansen, 2015-2016. Um, 
So it's kind of like a big seven inch. It's like a big single, but price isn't bad. Overkill. More thrash stuff this week. 23 bucks. Got them looking all cool on the back there live. Full length, one, two, three, four, five, ten songs. Obviously, it was a Mega Force release back in the day. Um, now it's being re released. And it's not expensive, 23 bucks. I like that. E.D. Burkell. When was the last time we had an E.D. Burkell record? It's been a while. Hunter and the Dog Star, $21. It's cool. It's got, it's actually kind of the same image. It's got, I like the front better. It's got the dog on it, barking at the, the stars here. 21 bucks, full length, on 30 Tigers. I wonder if that's her own record label. I don't know, 180 gram. All right, before we get through the rest of the new stuff, I wanted to take a second and talk about our mailers because we have a lot of people always asking, like, how do we ship? Like, I don't want ding corners. Like, we totally get it. We've been in this industry for 15 years. We totally understand getting records with ding corners is a super bummer. We have developed our own custom mailer. That's right, these are Toad Hall mailers. Best part about it is look at the size of the record and look at the size of the mailer. These open up and they protect the corners great. So open it up, it opens up again. Your record goes in here, folds up a couple times, corners protected on all levels. So, if you haven't ordered from us before, that is what we ship your records in. If you buy one or two, you're going to get it in this mailer. And because we've had so many people ordering, you're taking advantage of our flat $7 shipping, we've developed a box set or multi-pack. So this will fit a standard box set. It's to protect your corners if you're buying like a Smashing Pumpkins or any of the box sets we have. As well as if you buy four or five LPs. Um, same theory, very thick gauge cardboard. I mean, look at here's a record. Here's the cardboard. I mean, that's, I mean, it's it's pretty. It's some pretty beefy stuff. So we didn't we didn't slinch on these. These are actually made local right here in Rockford, Illinois. So we support local. We buy local. We ship local. We do everything we can. They also, packers are here seven days a week. Meaning, your order comes in on Saturday. We pack it Sunday. Mail pickup comes on Monday. But we pack seven days a week. We have two great packers. They do a phenomenal job to get them out to you in safe fashion. So, enough about a shameless plug. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. But I never get to show those off, so I wanted to do it. All right, Venom, the seventh day in hell. So we did the picture record. Now here's the, two, this is the uh, standard LP version. Same price, same price. If you want the original jacket, 37 bucks, you get your choice. I'm sure the picture disc is probably more limited. Kill switch engage. I had a question on this one this morning as daylight dies. This is the two LP with bonus tracks. So the fourth side has four tracks on it. Um, let's see if we can get that in the camera there. And yeah, this is like one, two, three, and then these are the bonus tracks right there. Um, the cover is different than the standard. So that kind of is a dead giveaway. $36 and they are also numbered. I got 1570 right here. Let's see if it shows up. Yeah, it kind of shows up. $36, you can get those. All right, Bon Jovi had a new record, guys. He did. It came out right in the heart of the rece recession, right in the heart of the pandemic, and it was not on vinyl. But now it is. $36, you get the 2LP, and it shows there's two bonus tracks. There's uh, 11, song on 11 and song 12 are bonus tracks. I have not given a spin yet, although I have to, I appreciate his hair because it's, you know, it's kind of like, you know, yours truly here. It's kind of got the same thing going. I got to, if I grow mine out, maybe I'll look like Jovi, even though he's significantly older than I am. Oh, well, it is what it is. Uh, how about Neil Young pumping records out still? $19 for the times. This guy's putting out so much stuff. You think, I mean, obviously he's still alive and active, but man, he is pumping these records out like nobody's business. And this one's priced extremely fairly at $19. Neil Young is not known for pricing records very cheap, but uh, this one falls right where it should at $19. Really happy about that. Um, and I think he's got a couple more releases coming 
um, in the next couple of weeks. Like I know there's some that are coming out of the vaults. I think this is a more a later one, but he's got he's got a lot coming out. All right, so we kind of went over the Black History Month records. They did a whole slew of uh, records this month. There was Curtis Roots. Um, I've got a few more of them. This is one that just came in this week, Sheila E., The Glamorous Life. Um, of course, Black History Month, they did all sorts of African-American artists. Um, I pretty much got them all. They've been selling pretty well. It wasn't promoted the way I felt that it should have been. You know, like when we have right, Start Your Year Off Right or October, like they were blown up. But this is the first year they've done this. So, you know, it, it's something that uh, is kind of new. So I guess I'll give it that. But I do like what they're doing. Uh, similar pricing to start your year off right. $23. They're bringing back great records. You know, Curtis Mayfield. I've got some other restock in here we're going to go over. Wilson Pickett on colored vinyl. I mean, they're doing a kick-ass job. I'm really happy they're doing it. Um, I just wish maybe it was a little more organized. Next year, we'll be ready for it. Judas Priest, limited edition, colored vinyl. This is Rocca Rolla, 180 gram translucent grape and white with black splatter. What a crazy vinyl that is going to look like. 36 bucks, uh, get you that one. Judas Priest, always a good seller. Fleetwood Mac with Peter Green. Before the ladies joined the band and Peter Green split, the whole band broke up sort of for the first time. 23 bucks. Um, obviously, you never see early Fleetwood Mac stuff in the store. Happy to uh, get those in the shop. Not expensive either. How about Deep Purple California Jam? This is 2LP Live in 74. Uh, this Deep Purple were the biggest selling album act in America when they embarked on a 28 date tour promoting their new album, Burn. Undoubtedly the climax. So this is the uh, California Jam from Ontario Speedway in, Karen, in California in front of 200,000 people. 2LP, 180 gram. They're doing a lot of live stuff out this these days, I tell you. Hard to keep up with it all. All right. I don't usually do seven inches. It's not my thing. I mean, I like seven inches. They're not a mega seller, but when it's David Bowie and Morrissey on a seven inch, you buy it. $16. Two, uh, let's see what we got here. Cosmic Dancer Live, and that's entertainment. So David Bowie and Morrissey are on Cosmic Dancer Live, and then just Morrissey is that's entertainment. Again, single uh, seven inch, sixteen bucks. If you like seven inches, let me know. I'll start carrying the. I'll start bringing more of those in. I'm, right now, I'm a little choosy because we have a lot of seven inch, but sometimes they sell. White Snake, the blues album. That's right, they got a blues album out. Thirty three dollars, two LP cut. Revised, remixed, remastered, part three of the Red, White, and Blues trilogy. Two LP set with lyric sheet, 180 gram blue vinyl. I dig it. I like when bands like that do different stuff. It always usually turns out good. All right, that concludes the new portion of the show. We are now going to get into all the restock, and I've got two crates here that we got to get through. So I'm going to briefly go over these. If you watched my MoFi Minute, I already went over these. I do have some Dire Straits communicate and making movies as of now by the time this video goes. Sometimes stuff is selling as I make this stuff. Um, these were short printed. I do expect to get more. They are not limited. We will get more. You just have to be patient. If you miss these, more are coming. Layla, same thing. I pretty much am sold out of these are as of filming this. I have more coming next week. Um, so it'll be a next week's show, but just, if you want one, uh, you know, keep it, keep it in the back of your head for next week. We'll have more, but they're out. They're not limited. Don't panic. We'll get you one. All right. How about Pearl Jam Avocado, AKA self-titled 2LP, $33. 
man, we used to get originals of this in. I think I've had three or four originals from back in the day. These would trickle in um, back when, you know, we used to get 90s records brought into us, um, but not anymore. So, so yeah, we have to get the reissue like everybody else. $33. Pink Floyd, wish you were here. Some of these Floyd records have been out of stock for a surprisingly long amount of time, but uh, we're getting them back in. Wish you were here in the original sleeve. Uh, obviously, if you take this black sleeve off, there's the two guys shaking hands underneath. Doc of the Bay, one of my best sellers, $26. Otis Redding, the classic, the classic album. Lizzo, because I love you, for all you hip-hop lovers, $23, has her hit songs right on there. It's priced right, that's why they sell. All right, how about, I got a bunch of Radiohead this week, guys. Moonshape Pool is back, $31, two LP set. The 2016 album is back in the store. All right, I had a couple Biggie Smalls I brought in last week. I already sold them, so I brought them back. This is Life After Death. This is a uh, three LP set, $43. So it's not cheap, but honestly, it's the only way you're going to get Biggie Smalls records. Especially, you are getting three LPs, so that does help quite a bit. Um, features hip-hop classics, Hypnotize, Mo Money, Mo Problems, Sky's the Limit, going back to Cali. All right, this one. I had tickets to see them. Before this darn pandemic happened. Deftones White Pony. The classic. $26. Their strongest. First time available in 10 years. 2LP set. I went over this. Sold out of these last week too. The uh, Led Zeppelin Presents. Again, that later Zeppelin stuff. Really kind of making a comeback. People are really starting to enjoy it. $26 for a brand new Zeppelin Presents. I said I had a lot of Radiohead guys. Here's another one. Kid A. 2LP, $28. Uh, funny thing is, if you are looking for an old copy of this, it originally came on a double 10 inch. We used to sell those all the time. I like the, I tend to like the 12 inch format better just because it fits in my rack better and it doesn't get lost. Um, but just a fun side note. Larry Young, if you're into jazz, you're into blue note collectibles, $26. Got Grant Green on it. It's got Elvin Jones on it. Got Sam Rivers on it. Twenty-six bucks. Charlie XCX for all you pop lovers. Twenty-one dollars. How am I feeling now? Ultimate Lockdown album. How about that? Exclusive. One hundred and forty gram neon orange twelve inch vinyl. Tony Williams. So we did the Larry Young. Here's the Tony Williams. Same thing. Blue Note edition. $26. 180 gram remastered from the original analog tapes. Always does the best job. Bobby Hutchison. Hutchison's on this too. Ron Carter. Very cool. Bon Iver for Emma Forever. 20 bucks. The, the indie rock classic. Indie music classic? It's not really rock. Indie music classic. Vampire Weekend Records, pretty much perpetually out of stock. We happened to get a few in because we had them back ordered. Father of the Bride, which is their newest, $31, two LP set. I think I got the other one in here somewhere. Queens of the Stone Age, Era Vulgaris. Uh, again, with the new uh, Foo Fighters record coming out, we had to kind of brief up our Queens collection. $26. I love the art on these. I love the cartoon art. John Prine. Now we have a ton of John Prine guys. This is just one of them. This is just uh, bruised orange. But I think we have like six, seven Prine records in stock. $23. I believe it's on, what's his fifth album? This one's not uncolored. Look at Gwen Stefani looking all young there. $23. No doubt Tragic Kingdom. It's got spider webs on it. It's got I'm just a girl. Excuse me, Mister. Sunday morning. Don't speak. There's a lot of hits on this album, guys. I'll throw you back to the early '90s. Back in current time, 
Taylor Swift reputation, 2LP, $41. I believe it is a double picture disc. It is. It's got a picture right here. It's a little, it's, so it's basically just the cover on a, on a picture record. But I like that they put it in a regular jacket. They didn't put it in the clear plastic jacket that gets lost so easily. Pink Floyd Metal. This is one of the ones that I've been out of forever, guys. 31 bucks. Just the psychedelic classic, psych rock classic Floyd record. Um, happy to have this back in stock. Been a while. Been quite some time since I've had that. Mumford and Sons, Sign No More. It's the best record you can get for $16 brand new. $16 for a brand new record. Classic. All right. Speaking of classics, here's one from our original analog tapes. That's right. We got Red Hot Chili Peppers, Blood Sugar, Sex Magic from the original analog tapes. $36 gets you the 2LP set. You remember it from the 90s. It's still rocking. Oh, Ozzy's Blizzard of Oz, $24. Single LP. There he is on stage. 30th anniversary. All original performances remastered from the original master tapes. I love this. They, these guys are getting it. For $24, you're going to get a really killer package and sounding record. They're understanding what we want, guys, and I love it. $36, bucks, Incubus, Make Yourself. I just saw these guys do this tour. Well, before a pandemic. $36, two will be set. How about Pearl Jam? Vitology. Had this last week. Sold out of them. Got them back. $41. Two LP set. Better man, not for you. Spill in the black circle. All right. Jazz lovers. Charlie Parker. Five 10 inch LP box set. $100. But you're not going to find these 10 inches anywhere. And if you do, you're going to pay way more than 100 for all five of them. Legendary Sessions, newly remastered, including tracks with Dizzy Gillespie, Thelonious Monk, Buddy Rich, and more. Faithfully reproduced artwork, collector slip case, 10 by 10 book, essays, photos. For 100 bucks, it's a pretty good deal. That's why I keep selling them. More Radiohead, King of Limbs, $24, single LP. Portugal the Man, Woodstock, probably has one of my favorite covers of the last couple of years. $21. It's also their breakthrough album with Feel It Still was a huge chart topping hit. They've been around forever in kind of the underground indie rock world and they finally broke it big. I'm really happy for them. Aretha Franklin. More of those Black History Month records. Uh, Young Gifted in Black. $23. Again, pricing is exactly the same that Rhino likes to do with the uh, Start Your Ear Off Right, Rocktober. They got a new one. Anything they can do to sell records, right, guys? They're killing us with these awesome releases. Killing our wallets, at least. Black Smoke, Blackberry Smoke, $26. I've been slowly trying to bring these back in the store. Custom Mixed, Translucent Red and Black Swirled, 180 gram vinyl. I don't, Custom Mixed, Translucent Red and Black, so I don't know if everyone's different, probably, is what that means. Anyway, pretty cool. Are you colored vinyl lovers out there? Black, uh, Blackberry Smoke. Zach Brown Band, their greatest hit so far. $26. Get to those guys on stage, but uh, it's got knee deep, colder weather, chicken fried, toes. Yeah. 2LP Greatest Hits. Speaking of 2LP Greatest Hits, here's another one. Foreigner 40, $33. I'm not going to list off the tracks because you probably are seeing them in your head. Cold as ice, double vision, hot blooded, dirty white boy. I mean, that's just side one. They had a lot of hits. Another greatest hits. We're on a roll today. This is Soundgarden A Sides. Three, thirty-six dollars, two LP. Obviously, Chris Cornell there in Soundgarden. Thirty-six bucks gets you the old A Sides collection. Fogarty's Factory, not to be confused with CCR. This is CCR hits and John Fogarty hits sung with his kids. That's right. Those are all pictures of his kids, him and his kids. They're spoofing the classic cover. Uh, $26. So that's kind of cool. New reimagining. System of a Down, Steal This Album. 
obviously from an era when everyone was burning CDs. $27 gets you the uh, classic system record. 27 bucks, not bad for 2LP. Ooh, Etta James, tell mama. Man, guys, I cannot get enough Etta James in the store. $23, I'm waiting on it last. I got them on back order, but they just will not show up. I just can't make these records fast enough, guys. Remember when I was talking about start your, start your ear off right or Black, Hair, Black History Month? Wilson Pickett, best of Wilson Pickett. Friday music, so it's it's going to sound killer. I believe these are on yellow translucent vinyl for start your ear off right. Oh, my God. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this for the rest of the... This, luckily, it marches around the corner. For Black History Month releases, this is on colored vinyl. There we go. $35, best of Wilson Pickett. Jimmy World, 150 gram. Uh, Bleed American includes download card. This was their big breakthrough right here. 23 bucks. Foo Fighters, again, because of their new album. This is just their self-titled. $23, their, uh, their debut. Obviously got them off running. Got them off and running. Without that, we wouldn't have them today. More Biggie Smalls, $31 this time. This one's got Big Papa on it. Uh, ready to die. Harrison's birthday was this week. So, of course, we got to keep the All Things Must Pass in stock. The 3LP, $71 box, 180 gram heavyweight, and it also has remastered from original analog tapes, uh, replicates the construction of the original release. I, it doesn't say the posters in here. But I'm going to guess that the poster's in here. Since it replicates the original packaging. $20 for Motorhead Overkill. Original album art and audio masters. 20 bucks. 20 bucks. All right, Allman Brothers Band. Live at Fillmore West. $27. I love the trolley car on there, and it's all psyched out. Love it. Um, first time on vinyl. Well, I mean, sort of. It's been out for a while. So, <laughs> Slipknot, we are not your kind. Big Slipknot fan. Just being close to Iowa. $31. Two OP set. Um, just got those back in stock. More Floyd. Remember I told you we were out of some Floyd for a while? Let me tell you that's the reason. Uh, $31. Got that back. Blink 182 is self titled. Uh, $36, two OP set has I Miss You, Violence, Stockholm Ceiling Syndrome, Down, Feeling This, Easy Target was a big one for them at the time. How about uh, Less Than Jake B is for B sides? This one is on Band Exclusive Green Grass. Wait, hold on. Band Exclusive Grass Green. Band exclusive grass green. Is that a song? It doesn't say green vinyl. I'll, I don't know. That's confusing. Chris Stapleton Traveler. One of my best sellers in the store. $24. It's got, te it's got Tennessee whiskey on it, which everybody knows that song. Here's the other Vampire Weekend. I was waiting for it. Their debut, $24. But pretty much perpetually out of stock everywhere. But we got one. $24. Get that. Ray LaMontagne, Trouble, $25. Got the lily and the rose there in the back and the girl and the devil dancing on the front. Top selling album of the past 25 years. Over 16 million U.S. sales. Metallica, Black or self-titled. $26. Enter same man, sad but true. Wherever I may roam. $26 bucks gets you the classic. I can't believe that's the best-selling album in the last 25 years. So it's amazing. Eminem, the Slim Shady LP. This is his breakthrough. His "Hi, My Name Is," um, which put him on the map back in the day. Twenty-eight dollars. Hendrix, "Are You Experienced?" Twenty-one bucks. Their first record from the analog tapes, and I love Hendrix. Is they're so cheap. Twenty-one dollars. They're so affordable. You're almost done here, guys. I got Beatles Let It Be, $24, single LP. 
And my last, oh no, I got a couple of them. I got Stevie Ray Vaughan, Double Trouble. This is the Analog Productions version, which is getting a little tough to find, 56 bucks. 2LP, 45 cut. Got just a few of those, because like I said, they're getting hard to find. Tom Waits Swordfish Trombones, single LP, back to Black Series, and we're gonna finish out with Mumford & Sons Delta. 26 bucks, 2LP set. Woo, that's a lot of records, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. I'll put a link to, in the bio for to get to our website and everything. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook. I'm on TikTok so your kids can watch. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you Tuesday morning for the morning show with me and Annette. See you soon, guys.